Welcome back. We are here on eToro looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for January 5th, 2021. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon if you want access to this full technical analysis, where it basically is all the uh, commodities that are available on eToro. You're welcome to join us over at Patreon. You'll also get access to our signal service and also our online trades. So uh, the link is down below. We'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we have appreciated quite significantly today. We have created this hammer here. Usually that is a very bullish shine. So I wouldn't be surprised if we went um, continued this bullishness all the way up towards the 20 exponential. And then we will just see a continuation of the fall of the US dollar. So the 20 exponential has been major uh, resistant in the past here, here, and also here. So a move towards the 20 exponential is very likely that we'll see uh, a continuation of depreciation of the US dollar index. If you look at technical indicators, they are still uh, fairly bearish at this point. The MACD is trending underneath the uh, zero, but it has crossed the signal line, so short time bullish. Uh, the stochastic is also uh, so also a short time bullish at this point um, and the CCI is under minus 100 so it is bearish at this current stage but we are on the edge of being oversold so this has been selling off for quite a long time and uh, pullbacks like these are inevitable they you just can't sell something forever without having a pullback but this has had major implications for stocks for for indices and commodities and so on. So um, this tends to trend, trend the opposite of other in instruments. So let's look at the oil market. So we'll look at oil. So we can see that we almost reached, uh, nearly reached $50 and then broke down quite significantly all the way down to the 20 exponential moving average. And this is current stage, we it is getting really interesting for, for oil. If the 20 exponential holds, then we are going back towards the 50. And this could be basically a very short um, belly, a very uh, minor range here between the 20 exponential and the, uh, and the $50 range. If you look at technical indicators, they're all turning around. So, so this is a very, very shine. Uh, and this is also a very bearish candlestick. If we break below the 20 exponential, that opens the door to this price level here, which is at 30, 35, and then the 50 moving average. So keep an eye on that. Move towards the 50 moving average, that should be significant support and also a very good buying opportunity. That is also the previous highs here. So it would make sense that we will fall all the way down to the 50, find major support here, and then we will be trading between 43 and $50, give or take. So let's look at natural gas. As you can see, it's just basically more of the same. Um, rallies, uh, massive pullbacks, rallies again up towards the uh, 20 exponential moving average, breakdowns, rallies towards the 20 exponential, breakdowns, rally up to the 20, and then yet again towards the 20. I would not be a buyer in this market until we basically break 50 moving average and start trading well above the 50 moving average. Otherwise, this is just a continuation of this uh, downward trend. And um, if we get basically stuck here for well, one, two, three, four, probably five trading days as we did here and also here and also here, then that basically means that we are just going to go and test the 200 moving average again. And if that breaks, then that opens an absolute tidal wave to the downside. We're going all the way down towards a two, uh, and then we're also going to 1.7, 1.8. Technical indicators are still bullish for this, so, but at this current stage, I think that this is just going to be a continuation. I won't be a buyer until we basically cross the 50. So let's look at copper. 
So we rallied quite significantly today and gave most of those gains back. And now we're trading roughly at the 3.55. Uh, we're trading above the 20 exponential. That is uh, quite a significant support at this current stage. Um, I think that we are just go we're going higher. As long as the 20 exponential holds, as this level price level here holds, which is roughly to uh, 3.5, uh, then we are going to go higher in this market. Uh, the lower the dollar gets, the higher the market will also go. So we have seen this move before. We can go all the way back here when we're trading sideways, created this basically flag here, and then rallied, and, uh, and so on. This is just a continuation here, just going sideways and then going significantly higher. So how high? Well, 3.6, 3.7, 3.8, that is where we are most likely going in the long run. So let's look at gold. Because gold did something really interesting today. We basically broke out of this resistant line. So so we have this resistance line here and the gold basically gapped up and now is trading well above that resistance line and it has no basically no signs of basically pullback and that's very bullish shine. Technical indicators are very bullish for gold but we are on the edge of being overbought at this current stage. We have been rallying since this very low here of uh, 1766. So a pullback towards well we can just get rid of this and we can add a new trend line here, which is the lows here and the lows there, which is currently our support line. So pullback towards the support line here should be, well, significant support. And we'll also have the 20 moving average moving this way. So we are you know, basically changing this trend. It is no longer a downward trend. It is most likely going to be upwards from here. So a pullback towards 1900, roughly 1900. That is where, that is basically the bottom of this market. However, there is significant resistance within this area here. So we can go put it a little bit down right there. We can see how often we tested this area. So that is roughly between 1930 to 1975, something like that. If we manage to get through this area, this is also the reason why we ended here. If you manage to get through this area here, then that opens the door to 2000 and 2015, 2100 and, and beyond that. So I think that gold is gonna be really, really bullish from now on. Um, long run, gold should be very bullish. People have been pumping money, in the, money into Bitcoin for whatever reason. And instead of basically gold. And today we saw basically a reversal of that. People were basically selling Bitcoin and put, put pumping money basically into gold. So they're using it as a safe haven. And that is um, um, historically it been the normal trend that basically people use uh, gold when economy is looking very dire. But pullbacks towards 1900, that is basically your entry point for this market. Um, Expect a pullback uh, because we are very overstretched. If you look at the Bollinger Band, for example, we are way outside here in the Bollinger Band. So a massive pullback towards at least 1900. That is fairly possible at this stage. So let's look at silver. So... Yet again, we have rallied, we found the resistance here, and this is also this area here that we basically need to get through. But we are going to get through it. So similar to gold, we have this trend line here, and a pullback towards this trend line is basically buying opportunities. We have this massive resistant area here that we basically need to get through. We are testing it now, and it's just a matter of time before we get through this area. But pullbacks towards this trend line, uh, roughly $26.59, uh, uh, that is basically your entry point. And then you basically can target uh, 27, 28, 29, and 13, uh, $30 as well. So let's look at platinum. So 
this just went parabolical today and I need to get uh, Bullinger Band to basically show you how parabolical we went. So we went all the way up to 11.27 before we broke down, but still we are, uh, well, we're just inside of the basically Bollinger Band here. But I think at this stage we are going uh, going lower. If you look at technical indicators, they are turning around and a move towards the 20 exponential moving average, that would make sense. Um, this is just very parabolical. This makes, well, this is just a... Uh, untradeable. So uh, moves like this are easier to trade than days like this, for example. But a move back towards the 20 exponential, find support there, then you basically can enter and target 1000 again. So let's look at Pallium. So you can see, and this was very predictive, people can go and look at my video from for last uh, uh, my last technical analysis because we're still doing just more of the same we are rallying to these um, to um, to this resistant area and we can basically make it as a block now because it is basically a block and we have a low here which is there so we rallied up towards this area here which has been major resistant and then we broke down and uh, trading just above the 20 exponential so it's just more of the same. Rally up towards this area is basically a selling opportunity and, and, and drop down towards this major support area. That is basically, sorry, um, that is basically your entry point for uh, buying opportunity. At this current stage, um, if we manage to break the 50 moving average, then it's probably a good idea to sell it, but otherwise, I only enter it when we are at the top and when we are basically at the bottom. So let's look at aluminium. So as you can see, we have rallied above the 20 exponential moving average. And uh, yes, that was fairly expected, but it's just more of the same. I was hoping to uh, fall all the way down to the 50 moving average and then buy into this but at this current stage technical indicators are turning around so if we get another candlestick above the 20 exponential moving average then that is a basically uh, uh that is a sign that we are going significantly higher and you can start targeting these very highs with a stop loss right underneath these previous lows so let's look at nickel So nickel had a really good day today. We uh, rallied all the way from 16,568 all the way up towards 7.403. And there we found a major resistance and it is, well, questionable whether or not we go uh, continue higher from here. We may pull back towards the 20 exponential. These technical indicators are very bullish at this current stage. Um, I would not enter this market whatsoever at this stage uh, neither with a buy-in or a sell-in because it can go up it also can drop uh, all the way down to the 50 moving average but entry point was here if you wanted to enter this with a stop loss right underneath the 50 moving average and a target of these previous highs so people that entered this today were uh, did it really well so sugar As you can see, we rallied all the way up towards the 0 0.1608 level. And if you look at the Bullinger Band, for example, or sugar, we can basically see why we pull back and why we are most likely going to see a massive pullback towards the 20 uh, moving average, which is at 0 0.1487. Technical indicators are turning around. Uh, we are on the edge of being overbought. So, so it would make sense if we fall back towards this area here, which is roughly 0 0.15. There is where I think most buyers will come back in and start selling this to the upside. But otherwise, right now, we're significantly overstretched and buying this at this current stage is just ludicrous. So let's look at cotton. So we, uh, we just had this building band here. 
So we rallied above the bullish band, pulled back, and at this current stage, I think it's uh, similar to sugar. We're going to pull back towards the middle of the bullish band, roughly 0.75, uh, 11. If you look at the technical indicators, they are all turning around. We are, over, are overbought at this current stage. Last time we were outside of the bullish band, we fell all the way towards the middle. The same goes for here, the same goes for here. Uh, it actually fell all the way down to the 50 moving average. So be aware. We could fall to the middle. We could also fall all the way down to uh, the 50 moving average or the lower part of the Bollinger Band. But to buy it here is way too risky. It is fairly, it actually it actually is a selling position, but I don't like uh, selling uh, against an uptrend. So let's look at Kakoa. As you can see, we rallied to the top of the Bollinger Band and then broke down quite significantly and at the moment we're trading just above the 50 moving average so the uptrend that I was expecting well did not happen at this current day we're just trading sideways we are trading basically in the middle of nowhere technical indicators are all over the place so to be fairly honest just stay away from this if we find, uh, find some major support here at the 50 moving average and it shows signs of uh, basically rallying then yes, it is plausible to trade, but it's also pure gamble because we can break down all the way down towards the 200 moving average. So let's look at wheat. So wheat rallied up towards the top of the Bollinger Band. It is uh, fairly overstretched. Did we pull back? And I think that we are going to head back towards the 20 exponential, roughly at 615. If you look at the technical indicators, they are all turning around at this current stage, except for the MACD. But this market, usually when we get outside of the bullish band or even close to the top, it basically pulls back towards the middle. And that's what we're going to see also here. So pullbacks towards roughly 615, that's basically your entry point, with a stop loss of roughly underneath the 600 level and a target of 649, 450. So... Hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to just write to me on Patreon if you have any questions. Otherwise, good luck and thank you very much.